everybody, welcome back to another vlog. This morning has been incredibly busy. I can't believe it's almost lunchtime and I haven't picked up the camera yet. We've just been filming the end of our Christmas cake video, which should be live for you very, very shortly. And I'm so excited. It was really hard not to start eating it today, which is probably the downside of starting it so early. Also the downside of having absolutely zero self-restraint whatsoever when it comes to sweet things. So now comes the cleanup operation for all of those things. I have actually had to take my lights out for the first time this year, which has been so strange because it's just dark. It's just dark and it's becoming wintry and I don't mind the winter because it's cozy, but it does not help you when you're trying to get videos filmed. And just to add some more weirdness to a Christmas day in October, it's pumpkin carving day. It's myself, it's mam, we're going head to head, and I need you all to tell me who has done the better job. I've spent the week looking up designs. I'm ready. Looks like I'm constantly surprised. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. I look like I'm constantly surprised. <laughs> I don't know, and they're not even on me any longer. You them off. Good. Look Mom went to a party last night, and I did her makeup. And if anybody has been following me for a long time, you know that the last time I did her eyebrows. We had the same situation and that was about six months ago now. Constant look of surprise, even though they're not on anymore. It's just your enormous forehead, that's all. I'm blessed with the same condition. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> when you picture autumn walks in the woods and you think of all the leaves and all the colours, Bunclody Golf Course is the place to come. It's exactly what I thought it would be. I'm going to see if we can dig out some of the files from when we walked here the last time so you can see how the colours have changed. It's such a big difference. I think I'm going to be driving everybody absolutely mental this week because I can't stop listening to Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga interviews, singing the soundtrack to A Star Is Born. If you haven't seen it, I think it's my favourite movie of this year so far. We went to see First Man last week with Danny's cousin Siobhan and Lana and it just wasn't, it wasn't what I thought it would be. But still, it was a good watch, but A Star Is Born is just... It's a whole other league of film. It went to a place that I did not know it was going to go to, affecting me deeply. So I'm a little bit in love with Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga. I tweeted last night that I wished that Ireland did Halloween like they do in the US. We came across a pumpkin field, I suppose, as we were driving home from horse riding yesterday. And it's just all the pumpkins in the field and it was so cute, apart from the fact that anybody there was either a parent or under the age of four. So, bad and all as I am, I didn't feel like I could take Angela with me into the pumpkin patch. But I think we need more of that in Ireland. We don't celebrate Halloween the same way and people really want to do the whole pumpkin patch, care experiences type things. I think my next destination will have to be to the States purely so I can enjoy Halloween festivities. If anybody would like to house me, please let me know. <laughs> So on our travels we went to Aldi and I have been absolutely adoring dark chocolate since Danny bought it for me there a couple of weeks ago. I've always loved it but lately I find it's been an absolute staple to stop me from snacking on absolute crap. So I find that if I have a little square of dark chocolate with my lunch it stops me from eating all the bad chocolate that I really want to have which is kind of helpful. So I'll probably take like a quarter of a bar every day. So while I'm doing my meal prep for the week which is... Uh, casual chicken supreme we have been looking at what stencils we're going to use for our pumpkins this year if i can achieve it here's open you ready mom ready We're done, but we're gonna wait until it's dark to show you our masterpieces. They're definitely not terrible. <laughs> they definitely turned out like they were supposed to. Yes. Oh my God, they came out so yeah, well. Yeah, that is brilliant. It really does. It actually looks like a minion. I'm yeah. shocked. because I thought that the smaller little teeny bits wouldn't, the light wouldn't shine through them, but it actually works. Excellent. Look at your skull. It's an actual proper skull. Yes, bad. They're brilliant. Oh my God. <laughs> We excelled ourselves. Now that the pumpkins are done, we're contemplating what to do with the remainder of the flesh. I know I'm gonna take the seeds, dry them out, and probably put them in some curry powder and have curried pumpkin seeds. Sounds really nice. But we're thinking about making a 
pumpkin curry instead of a butternut squash curry. We'll have to look and see because it's, it's sweet. Mm, have a look on the Google. Yeah. See what it says. But overall, very successful. Oh, delighted. So man did go ahead and find a recipe. Pumpkin is obviously extremely similar to butternut squash. So there are butternut squash slash pumpkin and chickpea curries. So we've got 450 grams of the pumpkin that we carried away while we were doing our two pumpkins. And that is going to make a lovely curry. So it just goes to show that you can do other things with the leftovers from your pumpkins. And I'm about to separate the seeds and dry them out to make curry pumpkin seeds, which is really cool. This is the lovely pumpkin curry we have. It's pumpkin and chickpea, some couscous. And what else have you got in there, ma'am? I see chopped tomatoes. Yeah, some coriander, ginger, chili. Absolutely. And garlic. Delightful. And of course, the favourites, the homemade chips. <laughs> All packed and ready to head back to Dublin on the bus. Mammy is clearly, as you can see, devastated that I'm going. As per, you know. It's not actually me, she's delighted to get rid right of. She's watching Strictly on the telly. <laughs> but for now, everybody, it is time to say goodbye. But we will pretend that my hair is up and I am done, done, done for the day. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe. I would love to see you back again and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!